late 19th century, the University of Louisville, for all practical purposes, was just a medical school and a law school. But then in 1907, we opened a College of Arts and Sciences down on Broadway, and it grew very quickly. And by World War I, the trustees were saying, we need a new campus. Let's go to the suburbs. And so they tried to buy a farm out off of Douglas Boulevard, and the family of a recently deceased trustee by the name of Belknap helped them buy, ultimately, a farm. And they named it the Belknap Farm, and that's where the campus was going to go. It all hung ultimately on the passage of a 1920 bond issue to finance the move from Broadway out to the Highlands. The only problem is that the University of Louisville at that time was whites only, and African American voters in Louisville sat on their hands. And as a result, the move to the Highlands never occurred. But then another opportunity came along. The trustees saw the opportunity to buy on this campus, buildings, a campus already that had begun that belonged to a city-owned reform school and orphanage that went back to the time of the Civil War. And so the trustees bought the old Louisville Industrial School of Reform and decided in 1925 to move the campus here, selling the farm to finance part of the move.